Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm continuing on with my Retroctober 2023 Fox Kids Countdown event with a look at a brand new Mondo Toys 1-6 scale Harley Quinn. Check out that box right there. That comes courtesy of Danny Haas, who did the art and the design of the packaging by Nolan Fleming. Well done. That is a love letter to the T for Batman the Animated Series. And of course, on the sides of the box, you got nice font, one six scale figure with a Batman the Animated Series logo right on the back. Iconic, right? Look at that. Nothing says Fox Kids like Batman the Animated Series. And of course, here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure, so thank you very much for that. Zilu, Doc Death Park, once again, if you got my Lisa Maza figure, well, he's doing some fine work all around. And it's got a little Velcro-y, foldy, boxy, opening thingy on the front. And you get a nice photo of Harley Quinn along with Bud and Lou. And then you get to see everything inside. Now, just take note, this is the timed exclusive version. Everything is in this box. So we got lots to talk about. But in the meantime, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Mondo Toys from their 1 6th scale Batman the Animated Series, Harley Quinn. And for those of you out there wondering how easy it is to remove this figure from the box, well, you'll have to cut the initial tape to open the box, but Harley is a series of stacked trays, so you can move the figure and the accessories at your leisure. They make it really easy. And boy, does she have a whole heck of a lot of accessories. Now, do keep in mind, again, this is the timed variant exclusive version with a couple extra parts and pieces, but I'll make this easy. On the left side here, figure and accessories is what you would get for the standard version. And then over here on the hyena side, uh, well, that's what you get for the exclusive version. A couple extra heads, parts, pieces, hyenas, you get the idea. So we'll go ahead and start from left to right, and I'll show you everything. So there's no confusion, right? So first and foremost, you get a ton of extra hands. Item holding hands, weapon holding hands, you get the idea. All of them are a little bit different. They do come with gun holding hands, but sadly no guns. So I'm assuming Warner Brothers got their hands into this. Eh, definite pun intended there. Not even the cork gun. What's up, Warner Brothers? Let's have some fun here, right? This is fun, though. This is the Arkham Asylum certification of Harley Quinn being sane. She pulls this out in the episode Harley's Holiday. It's a solid plastic piece of paper but it shows me that Mondo pays attention. They watch the episodes, and it is a great accessory. Printed and everything. Very cool. Along with Harley's Holiday's purse. It has a little cell shading right there on the white purse. Very simplistic, but again, it really adds to this type of character, this display, right? Now, I take back what I said about the guns, because technically, she is armed. And this is the mannequin arm from Harley's Holiday. It doesn't move, doesn't do anything. It's nicely sculpted, and very subtly, it looks like a mannequin arm in parts and pieces when you look up close. I like that. That's very cool. That's just one of the best accessories in the box, if I'm being honest. She also comes with a pair of bat cuffs, right? So that's cool to see. Nicely done. It's very easy to slip these on her hands, being that her hands are removable, so I like that. No cell shading on this. Very odd. I would have thought they would have put the little cell shading on the bat cuffs. Now, you also get Harley's joker baton stick weapon right i will say it's painted nicely although some of the paint is misting on the jester balls right those should be painted white various uses for this sometimes it's a grapple sometimes you just want to aim it at the joker while he's flying a biplane and knock him unconscious so he crashes into mayor hill's house yeah i think those hired goons definitely bit the dust in that episode if you watched closely anyways you do get harley's perfume bottle and that's actually pretty cool to see. Now, technically, you could say this popped up in the Joker Fish episode, right? When she sprays G. Carl Francis with all that gunk. Or it could be in Holiday Nights when Harley and Ivy are taking advantage of Bruce Wayne's credit cards. Either way, pick your adventure. And of course, what's a Harley Quinn figure without a giant hammer mallet, right? It does have a little cell shading on one end across the middle, but nothing on this side couple little cell shaded elements to where the base and the base of the handle and whatnot so it's nice to see although right down the elements of the the handle the stick part i would have thought maybe they'd have a strip of cell shading there but alas they do not but it's a well done mallet that's for sure and you get batman's belt you guess the episode that this is from right oh, i'll give you seconds 
Of course, it's Trial. One of the best episodes of Batman the Animated Series, although Harley will tell you it just doesn't do a thing for her. Nice little cell-shaded elements every which way. Very cool. You can pop her apart at the waist and attach this. There's how you do it. Now, with the standard version, you get one extra head portrait, which is her in her angry face. So, she's mad at the Joker. She's mad at Batman. Beautiful line work. Everything is very clean, cell-shaded, beautifully painted. Again, the head portrait is very feminine. It's very much that Bruce Tim artwork. They nailed it. Zilu, he did a great job on this female head portrait. And then, of course, on the extra time bonus side, right? So you get the dish for the hyenas, which we've seen in a number of different episodes, we'll say, usually when you see the hyenas. But nice little cell shading there. Then you get a steak. It's a very cartoon steak, but a steak nonetheless. Got a little bite taken out of it. This, you could say, she pulls it out of her bag in Harley Quinnade, right? But it's not the purse that it comes with. Yada yada. You also get the bone. This showed up in actually two different Harley Quinn episodes. Usually the hyenas fight over a bone, right? Now whether or not this is an animal bone or maybe it's Murph's bone, right? Who knows? But they all fit inside the dish and that's just a nice accessory for the hyenas. Now you do get this unmasked, un-Harley Quinn, Harleen Quinzel head portrait. I almost said Arlene Sorkin there for a second. But again, beautifully rendered, beautifully done. Bruce Timm's artwork brought to life everybody who worked on the show's artwork i will see minimally cell shaded you got a little bit underneath on the hair pieces but overall it looks beautiful very nicely done that is harleen quinzel and you get the bit of a, a happy harley mixed with a little bit of terror a little bit of fear right depending on her hand gestures which i will show you little cell shading on the reds and on the whites right nice line work little bit of cell shading here on this side of the face but if you look closely let's say on this one which is a more we'll say sinister she's a cooking up a plan kind of deal she's flirting maybe boxy bennett is in the room but overall again beautifully painted love the cell shading it's not overdone but if you notice right here this one doesn't have that side profile cell shading, whereas this one does. Now, of course, again, this one is the only one that has that little bit of element of cell shading on the side, which maybe it was a goof, but in either case, uh, yeah, all of the head portraits are tremendously good, along with Bud and Lou. How could you get Harley Quinn and not have the babies, right? <laughs> so whichever one you want to call Bud and or Lou, that's what you're going to do. And they're just slug figures. They have no articulation to them at all. But they are beautifully painted. They got the spots. They got the face. That's really awesome. Although I would have preferred if you could have articulated the jaws to put the meat and the bone in their mouth. And that they could fight over it. And you get the idea, right? That would have been kind of cool to see. Same thing with Lou here, right? Lou's tongue is hanging out, of course. They're beautifully scaled to the Harley Quinn and the Joker figure, I might add. I'll show you that in just a few. But I like that there's a little bit of a subtle difference. The tongue's out and they can fight over or just have a laugh. Now, Harley Quinn herself, she does come with the Batman the Animated Series stand, which sometimes I say take it or leave it. I think that this one actually works with this figure, so definitely leave it. And as we've looked at all the different head portraits thus far, they're all beautiful for a beautiful looking figure. This is what I'd like to see from Mondo. Now, recently we took a look at Sabretooth. We've taken a look at Jubilee from their X-Men the Animated Series line. And as we've gone forward, they've gradually just gotten better and better. And Harley Quinn is really no exception. She does have the very basic articulation, but all of the bonus accessories really bring these figures to life. Really show me that they have watched all these shows, Batman, X-Men, soon to be Spider-Man, into the ground, and they know what they're talking about. They know how to present a really cool figure. Go really easy with their elbows. Those were the only ones that kind of had to heat up. And I will tell you, eventually, I would like to see them step away from these more ball joint, sort of McFarlane sort of style. I don't think they look the best. However you can do it. I just think that would be a nice upgrade later on down the road. But uh, you guys did a great action figure here. I'm actually blown away. She's a very sexy looking Harley Quinn. And that really works in the context of Batman, the animated series. She has very minimal cell shading, which I think really works, 
right there on the little bits of her costume on the white right here towards the back she's got the diamonds painted in that looks good the cell shading is along the sides of the legs but inside right on the inside part diamonds on the leg diamonds on the leg they all look great, right? A little bit of cell shading on the boots. Now, I thought that it would twist right there at the boot, but it's more so an up and down with an ankle rock. So it actually works, and you can get her into a lot of different poses and positions utilizing this artwork with a pretty substantial ab crunch as well. You get her moving around, although you'll have to always put it back together so the black and the red line up correctly right everybody knows what i'm talking about there now one thing on the legs and i think a lot of people will say well that should be a lot better and i will tend to agree that's the only real problem i think is in the legs with double joints they don't go all the way that's really it or at least that's the amount of articulation i'm getting out of both sides it really just kind of ends right there whereas i'm used to being able to put the leg all the way to the thigh Again, is it a deal breaker? No, but maybe just a little bit more articulation there to kind of fix that, change that up a little bit. Otherwise, uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool looking Harley Quinn. But as I'll say over and over again, it's the accessories, the head swaps and everything else that bring this character to life. So you can really mimic those scenes like in the dressing room with Bruce Wayne, right? He's trying to coax her out and she ends up smacking him right in the face with the mannequin arm or being taken back to Arkham Asylum and having Robin undoing the cuffs, right? That was pretty cool. You can have the more sexy, sultry face when she's trying to entice Batman into saying, look, I got your belt, Batman. What are you going to do about it? Again, Trial is an awesome episode. And the mallet, the hammer, is very cool. She can hold it with both hands. That is awesome. The head portraits really aid to bring this character to life, especially when she's holding the SANE certification, right? She just yanked that out of her purse. Hey, look at me, right? And the bowl, the bone, the two hyenas. Those look awesome. They really do look cool, especially when Harley's holding the big old steak, right? I love that. So again, the hands work, minus the hands, the trigger fingers for the gun. There's no gun, unfortunately. That's kind of a glaring omission, but that's Warner Brothers, right? Just FYI. But again, from the perfume bottle to just the looks, the expressions, her hanging out with the hyenas, right? Very cool. Oh, along with the Joker. Check that out. So the Mondo 1-6 scale Joker from their Batman the Animated Series line will line up quite beautifully with this Harley Quinn 1-6 scale. So that is really nice to see. I love the way that that looks. Nice family portrait there, especially when you're trying to recapture all the domestic violence. Jesus, see, that's what I mean. Those head portraits with the hands and everything else can make for something else entirely. And eh, Harley apparently just did not get the joke. But, hey, you know, those hyenas and... Everything else, you like to say, Joe, they'll stand with Joker no matter what. Nope, not this time. The hyenas are always going with Harley Quinn. Those are her babies, after all. And uh, sayonara, Joker. Uh, she don't need you no more. But what I really like to see is the original Kenner days, right? That was my first Harley Quinn. And most recently, I got the DC Direct, DC Collectibles Harley Quinn from their Batman animated line. But this is a nice, well-shaded, nice articulated well accessorized harley quinn definitely recommend her so that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new mondo toys one six scale harley quinn from their batman the animated series line and overall a few nitpicks here and there well articulated nothing loose paint is pretty solid overall and the accessories again bring this character to life i think you'll have a lot of fun posing her out on your shelf mimicking all those old episodes i went back and really looked at harley quinade and harley's holiday and harley and ivy and every other episode that harley kind of makes a brief cameo in which is surprising to say the least there's a lot of episodes and as a quick nod of course to the late voice actress arlene sorkin you will be sorely missed this was a beautiful character and you brought her to life perfectly so I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, oh yeah, let me know what you think about her down in the comments below. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.